I'm here with pitcher Corey Lukey, who went head to head with Roy Halladay last night. Won, eight innings pitched, two hits, no runs. Now, they're calling you the stopper because you ended a four game losing streak for the Padres this game, or last night, and then you also did that in Colorado. How are you with that nickname? What do you think, the stopper? Uh, I hope it doesn't last too long. I don't, <laughs> we, don't, we don't like losing games, especially uh, you know a few in a row. But uh, no, I think uh, last night was a good team win for us. Uh, the guys got some runs off Doc early, and uh, you know it took a little pressure off me, and uh, we were just able to go with it. Now I know that the team win comes first and foremost for you. You're happy about that. But after you get past that, have you had a moment to reflect and go, hey, what I did last night was pretty big. That was a, a big step in my career. No, it was nice getting to be able to throw against, you know, get a win against a guy like Doc. But. Uh, you know, like back to the stopper thing, and it, it's just a point where we needed a win. It didn't matter who it was going to be against. Um, you know, we lost four in a row, and uh, we needed to get the W. And um, I think that was more important than than who we beat last night. You pitched eight innings, the longest of your career so far. And what I thought was a compliment to you was your consistency. Your fastball was still in the low 90s in, in the eighth inning. You retired the last 11 Phillies that you faced. Has that been something that you've worked on, and is that something that you're proud of? Um, I think I've always known I've been able to pitch late in the games, but um, I've always kind of gotten my pitch count up a little high early. So uh, that's one thing we talked about this off season, uh, the spring training, was pitch a little more contact, trying to get a few earlier outs. And uh, you know we were able to do that, and I was able to give myself a chance to get into those later innings. Okay, you make it look so easy in games like last night. I know it's not, but did you feel yourself in more of a zone last night than you do in other games necessarily? Did it have a different feeling to you than in another game where maybe you're fighting to get back a little bit more? Um, it's kind of back to my off-speed a little bit. We've been working on our off-speed, me and Darren Balsley and Buddy. Um, just getting able to be aggressive with that down in the zone. And uh, when, I gotta, when I can tell myself to slow down and uh, you know, take it easy and make pitches down, uh, things usually go a little smoother. I think uh, last year I think I uh, had a lot of high pitch counts, but I was kind of going at guys a little more fastballs up in the zone, a few more foul balls. But no, it's just a matter of me slowing down a little bit and I uh, just kind of pitch in contact a little more. And speaking of last year, you made the starting rotation last year, but not before coming out of the bullpen. You had 29 appearances as a relief pitcher. When you when you think about that, did that help you a little bit to go from the bullpen into the starting rotation? Does it give you a little bit more steel, a little bit more aggressiveness than normal? Yeah, I think last year, you know, coming out of the pen, like what Stoff did and what Anthony's did and what I did, um, it lets you get your feet wet, you know, in a little different way. I think we all came up starters, but... It was the biggest jump, I think, without a doubt, is going from the minor leagues to actual big league games. And, uh, you know, being in that long relief position, sometimes you come into some games that have kind of only already taken their course a little bit. You Either you're up big or you're down big. And uh, sometimes there's not a whole lot of pressure, and you can go out and just gain that confidence to, you know, get to the point where you realize I can get big league hitters out. And um, I think it's kind of it's a good stepping stone, and uh, I think it's, um, you know, it's working out so far. I want to talk about that, just your progression. I mean, the last three starts that you've had, they've all been solid. I think two runs in 20 and a third innings. Uh, the last three starts that you've had, the team has won every time, which is huge for a team that, that's only had four wins, Clayton Richard getting the other one. So when you think about that and you think about last year, I'm going to ask you to look back a little bit. You know, you coming out like that, coming through the bullpen, getting into the starting rotation, now you've signed a contract with the Padres through 2015, and you've got guys in this clubhouse saying, that when you're on the mound, they feel like they're going to win. I think that's a huge compliment to you because those are the guys that matter. Those, those are your teammates. Have you had that? Does that sink in at all about kind of where you've come from in the last year or two? No, I think it's, it happened happened pretty quick. Um, you know, in spring training, when um, you know the Padres decided to make that kind of commitment to me, you know, I was kind of surprised, excited, you know, yeah. kind of a lot of emotions at the same time. But uh, you know, I was just glad they had the confidence in me to be one of those guys they trust every fifth day to go out and uh, give us the best chance we can to win that game. And uh, you know, it's I'm kind of put always put that pressure on myself. But uh, you know, it takes a little bit of that off, and I can go out now and just worry about competing and trying to win. Well, speaking of confidence, I talked to Darren Balsley this morning, and he said that you don't even know how good you are. He said that you're fun because most of the time he has to tell a guy he has to bring a guy down from being a little bit too confident and with you he has to tell you how good you are once you figure that out he said that you're going to be unstoppable what, what does that what do you think of when you hear that i don't know i mean i always try to kind of stay humbly confident um i am confident in my abilities but uh you know i always like to keep working and uh, i feel like there's always something i can be working on you know every bullpen every time i'm out throwing so uh, you know i'm never not trying to get comfortable just trying to keep learning and keep getting better Okay, the big question, who put the shaving cream in your face last night? Uh, it was Tim Stauffer. <laughs> he got me pretty good. Did, what, did it take a long time before that burn went away? Uh, it wouldn't have been so bad, but he got it up my nose, in my mouth, and in the eyes. Yeah. yeah. 
He, uh, they didn't get it on camera, but he, he did wipe out running upstairs to get that. And he's got a little little skin burn on his knee today. So uh, That so. was some karma for him then. Yeah, no, he, he, uh, we got a good laugh out of it. Cora Lubke, thank you so much. Good luck with the next one. Thank you.